Hey everyone, um, COP28 Dubai, day nine, I've lost count now to be honest. Um, so many conversations, so many interesting things happening here at the COP. And really happy to have bumped into Tiger, Tiger Astor, who is the founder, CEO of Ambiator. Um, he's going to tell us a little bit about what they do and the kind of natural refrigerant cooling they provide. And it's, you know, from from what I know of the technology, um, Tiger's a bit of an outlier. He's really come up with a, a, a unique solution to the problem. And, and, and uh, hopefully, uh, I, you know, hopefully he will be able to really bring these products to market. And he's going to tell us a little bit about what those products are and how they make a difference, commercial and then later on res residential as well. Um, so Tiger, um, tell us a little bit about Ambiator. How are you different? Because, you know, I've never come across this type of product in my 20 years in cooling. So I'm, I'm curious to know what you, what, how, how you explain this. Yeah, I'll be happy to. Hi, everyone. Uh, I'm Tiger Aster, as Mark introduced. Uh, and I'll provide information about Tiger and Ambiator in the links below. Awesome. So, hey, everyone. Um, so we come up with a solution called Ambiator. It's an alternative to air conditioning. We currently work in hot and dry climates. It's a climate friendly solution because we're not using any compressors or refrigerants. Uh, so um, we so it's evaporative cooling, right? But it's, it's a, a special. It's, it's, it's a, a special kind of evaporative kind. cooling okay. uh, where we're able to dry air before we add humidity to it, okay. and that way we're able to get very low temperatures, as good as an air conditioner. And that's what we want to bring to the market: is show that we can be thermally in a comfort zone without having to need an air conditioner. And um, so, what's driving you is to kind of bring this kind of natural cooling at a price point that is affordable to many people. That is correct. Um, what is important to us is that we also have a social impact, not just a financial impact and, and an environmental impact. Um, it is really important to understand that the highest number of people who can, do not have access to cooling are going to be from the lower class groups that cannot have the affordability either to buy or to run an air conditioner. and. These are the two criteria. So if you sell an AC cheap, they might buy it, but they can't run it because it takes a third of their salary. And, yeah. and that's a big, big problem. And, so, and, that, and that's the where end, we come in. So the, the energy performance of your Ambiator for the commercial applications, right? Yeah. Um, are, are, what, tell us a little bit about that. Is it, you know, what, what's the performance is well above? Yeah, so, so, so right now we, we use about a kilowatt of power for 17 and a half ton, uh, 17 and a half kilowatts of cooling. So we're about a five ton equivalent solution, but using just one kilowatt of input energy. So we could run it on solar and be off grid. And that's a zero energy cost of moving towards net zero. Jesus. I mean, I don't know if anyone's ever heard that, but that's pretty cool what you're doing. Yeah. So, and you're, you're, Indian. Yes, I you am. invented this technology in India. Yeah. And obviously, as a first test bed, India is a market for you, right? You, you've basically identified most of the, the, the continent of India, apart from, say, the coastal part of India, which is more humid, correct? Correct. So the potential of this technology is, is, is massive. It's massive. And, 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 and what are you seeing on the ground? Are you seeing um, actual customers coming back? Have you sold any yet? I mean, you know, tell us a bit more about the market, the commercialization part of this, or is this still just theory? I, well, it's not theory anymore. Uh, we're happy to, to be already in, in, in the market. We have individual customers right now. Okay. We also have NGOs, non-governmental organizations who buy our product and deploy it. Uh, at various locations where they already have put solar. Mm -hmm. So where they have solar, the sun obviously shines a lot and mm -hmm. that's the place where they need cooling. So that's where we're able to plug in. We have a couple of dev dev uh, developmental pilots going on with where? real estate developers. In India or so, beyond India? Uh, in India right now. Okay. So two of the larger developers are are piloting our solutions or rather having demonstration projects. Property developers. Property developers. Ooh, this so is these are for problem. for premium apartments yeah. because premium apartments is, is the segment we started with so we can build uh, our portfolio and... Uh, so your idea is that you scale it, the technologies, make more of those, then you can bring the price down even further, correct? Is that the idea? That so is you correct. Make it more affordable to others? So so there are, there are, there are 
there are two things in that. The, the first aspect is that we wanted to start off with a modular solution that could be scaled and be used in any application. So okay. it could be a five tonner, it could be a 10 tonner, it could be 15 and go up to 50 or double it and make it 100. Um, and the end goal is to finally reach a bedroom in an affordable house. And typical afforded, uh, affordable houses are are somewhere in the forty to fifty thousand dollar range, and that's that's a very large market. So that's where we want to make a, a massive impact because those people really need one a solution that can keep them cool in in the yeah. hot extreme climates yeah. that we have already, and what we are about to see with a with a three point two degree acceptable scenario. Yeah, yeah, uh, best case. <laughs> best so, case. I mean, so okay, so. You're, you're here at the COP, you've just come back from Miranda actually, on the way back home and you were already meeting some very interesting people in Miranda, potential investors to help you scale this up. So there's a right. real, you're starting to get, gain interest on this, right? Yeah. And, and, and which is great. And then, and so your next step also is you want to bring a, a kind of a, a residential unit. I've seen the demo online on YouTube where you show that you're bringing like you know, the outdoor temperature, this was in New Delhi, I think, yeah. you had like 42 degrees Celsius, and then you were able to bring it down without warming the external, you know, there was the heat that was coming out that was being rejected, it was actually bringing down the temperature to what, 32 or something like uh, that? It was about 35. 35, my point. In our case, yeah. And then you went inside, and there you were at like 22.5, 23 degrees Celsius. Correct. <laughs> Correct, and, and, crazy. And, and that was using about 300 watts of power, Jeez. and that was with AC motors, so by the so, time we, we, we advance our tech, we'll be probably down to 150 watts, so okay. a single 300 watt panel would be able to power it. My God, you're onto something there. Yeah, I hope so, I yeah. hope so. I, I really hope, I really hope you, you, get a, you get a chance to prove that this can actually work and that you can scale this up. And so the, the, the property developer, the, those pilot projects are gonna be key, right? Yeah, they're going to be key um, because what they're looking for is adaptive thermal comfort, mm. and that is something we can we can offer very normally. Okay. Um, plus, as you know, air conditioners have a typical problem that they recirculate the same air. Yep. We do it with 100% outdoor air. Okay. So that's that's a massive advantage, um, advantage when yeah. it comes to health and well-being yeah. and. Yeah. and it's all water as a refrigerant, right? Yeah. It's water as a refrigerant. Just water. Just water. <laughs> you can't get more natural than that. So um, now, uh, tell us a little bit about how you've actually got some units here. We're in Dubai. Yeah. Um, you've got some units here in Dubai too, right? Yes, well, we what, do. The application here is slightly different, right, to what you would do potentially in India. Yeah, so in, 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 in the previous company that I used to work with, we developed hybridized technologies that would work in a climate appropriate method. So depending on the outdoor environment, it would change the way it would work. So if it's hot and dry, we would go into the technology that we use at Ambiator. Mm -hmm. If it would be the humid season, then we would switch into a hybrid mode. And then when it's back in winter, which is like the temperatures that we have now, but these are a lot more extreme compared yeah. to when we had the units installed. So we're back in free cooling mode. So typically we looked at about 40 to 50% uh, energy saving on an annualized basis. So there is potential even in these markets. Yeah, there, there, there is. We're looking at hybridized solutions, but we're looking at bringing it maybe 26, 27 ish. Okay. All right. So the bigger, the smaller, the modular, the hybridization of it. So there's lots of different ways that you can take this product. Correct. Okay. And suit to, uh, so, all right. You're, 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 I, I, I'd be curious to know if anyone else has come across this type of technology anywhere worldwide, but my guess is no. So Tiger. Uh, have you got final words or anything else you want to share? Because I, I want to say good luck, man. Good luck. Because we need your kind of technology. Hey, thank you. Uh, you know we're, what? Let's, we're in let's... serious trouble on this on this planet. And that's the thing I see from COP, right? It's like, yeah. oh my God. So if we can get some of your solutions to market faster, that will only help. Thank you. And you know what? L let, let's cool without warming the planet. Yeah, please. We've done enough warming already. Yes, totally agree on that one. All right. All right. Thank bye -bye, you. Bye-bye.